Hell's fire. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Now? But I'm just getting comfy. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly. And his leash needs a yank. <gasps> we had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Kill me. I wouldn't recommend it. I die, and Will turns to a Lemur and gets sucked right down to the hells. Which reminds me. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. <sighs> That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget. Our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Playtime's over, pet. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil, and a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting them out. Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. 
She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? you hold the winning hand. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. Mazora, you're Zariel's asset. My dumb little stinker. Took you long enough. Now, my Grazit's cock get me out of this thing. I'll do it, and you'll set me free. That was the deal. Yeah, yeah. So, get to it already. The controls are open to your tadpole's command to your authority. You decipher the symbol. It's an illithid sigil, meaning unleash. You know this symbol from the Mind Flare ship. It means annihilate. You did all right, Will. I'd give your belly a good rub, but never could stand the smell. You're free, Mazora. I held up my end. Now you hold up yours. Sever the pact. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the Soulbinder consents to separation, she will release the Soulbearer from all obligation within six months. Six months? Gods damn you! Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. Another one? Well... After jumping through all those hoops, a little treat wouldn't hurt. And to think, you want to throw it away. Now, you've got business in the towers to take care of. Don't you fret. I'll find you soon enough. You're going to need me. Count on it. Oh, and go ahead. Tell your chums how we met. 
It's a real cracker of a tale. Ta-ta. speak up if it isn't little will straight to your handler and i didn't even have to whistle mizora i've had enough you owe your life to me time to end the pact poor thing you've had a tough go and you don't know the half of it you see gortash has had your father relocated I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Justice, adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. You do not call upon the sisters. They come when the hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain, sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Raven Guard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel! I won't let her take Will! 
Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole! Choose. Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Damned wretch! Father... Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Think you had it in you? <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Impossible. My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Correct, I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel, but those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead after all. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Lady Mazura told me everything. How you slaughtered your own father. How you crave his power. I thought you were going to save him, but you abused his current state to get rid of him. Something on your mind? You know exactly what's on my mind.
Why, only the truth. That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps.